Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name is Haley, and all we do here is DIY nail content. So if you're into that, definitely consider subscribing. And today, what I want to do is give you my thoughts on these viral BT Art Box X Coat tips. Um, they're three in one soft gel system. I purchased these myself off of Amazon. I chose the black French um, nude tips. I got 300 pieces, I think. Um, for $36.99, like I said, um, I believe they're the same price on the website, but it was just easier for me to order off of Amazon. I didn't get the whole kit because I didn't need another flash care lamp or another gel glue, um, so I just went with the nails, so that way I got more, because I think when you buy the kit, you only get 120 nails, so I just didn't want all that extra stuff that I don't need. The kit was around $45, I think, for the basic white French color tips, but I was drawn to these black ones right away. So, like I said, these are the nude version. They come in brown, nude, and pink. Um, I applied mine with my Kiara Sky uh, Builder Gel, because uh, I figured it's a builder gel, whatever. So that's what I used. And let's see. So they claim that they don't need to be prepped because as you see, they have uh, this patented three-in-one system where the base coat is applied on the top. It has the tip and apparently a tip primer and they say it fits all nail beds. So curved and flat. But I'm going to say right away, I don't know how well these would work on curved nail beds because mine are super flat and they fit me just perfect so I can't see how it can fit super curved nail beds, but that's just my thoughts. So let's open these up and take a look at them. And I've had them on, obviously they're on right now for quite a few days, so I figured I kind of have my thoughts together and I want to let you know what I think and if I think they're worth it and I do have some dupes for you guys, so yeah. So you open them up and they come like this, which I actually like this for sizing out your tips. It's just way easier than like opening bags up or um, even like grabbing them out of a box. You can just easily go back and forth. So it has these little, those are my notes. <laughs> it has these little things that hold them in place. So they come in the sheets like this. As you can see, they range from small to pretty big. So this is a really nice um, size range. A lot of them are very similar in size though. So yes, the biggest size is a zero and the smallest size is a 14, which is super, super tiny. And I don't know if you can see, some of these on my top sheet came scratched, which really, really annoyed me because these are kind of expensive and I'm not gonna put scratched ones, they're scratched on the base, the nude part, so like, I don't know. That just kind of aggravated me straight away, but um, this one's too small, so I'll pull that one off. They pop off really easy. See, like, that didn't even really create a nub, which is nice. These nails are super, super strong. Like, they're a little bit bendable by the cuticle, which you want, obviously, but the tip, like, I'm using all my strength, and I really, really can't bend the thing, which is pretty crazy because these are super strong, which is great. So at least they have that going for them. Um, yes. Let's see. Some good things about these. I really, really love um, the way the cuticle line is shaped, at least for me personally. I didn't have to do any filing on the sides or near the cuticle. They're just shaped really, really nicely. So that's a plus, saves you filing time, but you definitely, if they don't fit you perfect, which is highly, highly possible, and you have to shape them up, because um, everyone's nail beds are different, you have to be super careful that you don't hit into the black, because it will come off. So you have to be careful, and you do have to be careful filing the tip part, which I'm sure everyone does to kind of like sharpen it up because you will remove the black, so you just have to keep that in mind. And, you know, with the claim of the pre 
primed inside. I don't know how true that is. I had a few pop off, so then I, I glued them back on. I just like primed the tip with nail primer and put them back on and they seem like way more sturdy done like that. So honestly, next time I apply these, I will probably etch the tip and put primer on them. So yeah, I mean, if you're in a rush, you can definitely just pop these on and have yourself like a really nice set without doing much of anything. But for me, you know, I, I like to design my nails. So it's not really that much of a bother to have to do that work on the inside just for that extra, um, extra proof, whatever, I can't think right now, <laughs> that extra knowledge that they're actually going to stay put because I, like I said, I had a few pop off and like I did want to try their like glue gel and stuff, but you can't buy just the glue gel separate unless you get the solid. So I just said, whatever, I have enough glues. I don't need to be buying another glue right now. Um, so another good pro about these is the skin tone range. I can see them working for quite a lot of people. Um, and like I said, they're very strong. So that's really nice. Obviously you want that. So now let's get into some of the cons. Um, like I said, some of mine came scratched, which I am very aggravated about because, you know, I'm not gonna put a scratch now on. The price, like these are kind of high priced. I mentioned this in my last video, my Timu haul. Um, you know, for 300 nails, they're kind of pushing it there with the price. Like it killed me to buy these, but I had to, I had to. I saw Emily Susanna show them and I was like, okay. If she's using them, then they must be good. But yeah, while I'm doing that, see how flat they are? I mean, that's great for me, but I can't see this working for super curved nail beds. I just, I can't. And, you know, the length. These were considered the long. I mean, when I opened them, I was like, was this a mistake? Are these the mediums? I really don't personally consider these long. I mean, I guess I'm more used to long nails, but still, like, they're a very conservative long. They do have extra long, which I could not find on Amazon, so that's why I didn't get them, but they do have extra long on their site. They're a little bit more. I think they're like, I don't know, 38 or $39, so I would have definitely liked the extra long, for sure. And I mean, what else do I need to say? I definitely would still prep them, which I will do next time for sure. I definitely would have rather had the extra longs, but these are very nice. If you need a quick set on, I'm definitely happy I have them because they didn't, they're really nice. They're strong, they're, the way it's painted on is really, really nice, really opaque. So yeah, they do have quite a few good things going for them, but, but, I did find some dupes on Timu for literally three to five dollars. They're not the exact same quality. I will give these the upper hand on that for sure. These are definitely more strong before you put anything on them, but if you're looking to save yourself some money, you can get very similar nails, very similar look. And as long as you apply builder and top coat, you're gonna be fine, like totally fine. So let me show those to you again. So I had showed these. I'm showing these first because they look the most similar. These are definitely longer. This pack, I believe, had two something in it. These are from Timu. These are what I would consider a I guess they're almost extra long. I don't know. They're longer than these, but that looks more like a long to me. Um, this is a little bit more pinky. It's still definitely see-through, like, let me grab my lamp. You can totally see through it for carrying and stuff, so that's perfectly fine. I had these on the week before I applied these. I just used, like, nail glue to apply them because I was being lazy. They 
they're bendy at the cuticle. You can bend these, like these I absolutely can't bend, but if you do a builder gel, even a base coat, then a builder gel, then your top coat, like these are gonna be strong as hell. And these were $2.80, guys. So, yes. Here's the little comparison. BTR box and Timu. That's my first thing I can show you. And then, in my recent haul, I did get a bunch of these Nail Kingdom nails. Let me pull out the square ones. They come in a lot of options as well, like pink, a couple of different nudes. But let's look at these because they are square and they're actually the same length. So, this one comes with 300 pieces, so we're same. Um, these were, I believe, $4 when I bought them. They come practically exactly the same. Even the little strip looks the same. So, these are really nice. They're just not as strong at the tip, but they're still pretty strong. Like, they actually are. I would definitely recommend checking these out. So as you can see, when I put it over, the longs are the same exact length as the BTR box ones. And zero to, why can't I see the numbers on those? I think zero to 14. They come in the exact same sizings. I don't know why I said that weird. The exact same sizing. So the choice is yours. It just depends. If you are the type of person who doesn't like to design their nails, just wants to be done as fast as possible, and you like to leave them on for long periods of time, then I would recommend these BTR box ones. But if you're like me and you change your nails often, like there's no point to not get these. Like they're literally like really, really a good dupe, guys. Like I can't even get over it. I will link them down below. I'll link both in case you're interested in anything. But yeah, I just felt that I needed to give you my thoughts on these because they're so viral. And if you're looking to save money, you don't need to buy those. You really don't. I can't get over these and I can't wait to use them. So all in all, I hope this helped someone make a decision here on whether to dish out the cash for the BTR box nails or go with the dupe, the $4 dupe from Timu. I would get these before they sell out, guys, for sure. Um, so yeah. If this helped you, definitely give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like this type of content. And I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and if you want to see me apply any of these in a future Gel X tutorial, please let me know down below. I would be more than happy to do that for you, and I will see you guys in the next one.